Hello and thank you for watching. This is Project Cars 2. You can drive an entire 24 hour race within 30 minutes. Check this out. Okay, so what you do is you put the timer on 25 minutes. It's a timed race, 25 minutes, and then put it on times 60 progression. Now, what this is going to do is pretty much every minute spent driving on the track is going to be a simulated hour. So, I mean, I guess theoretically it's a 25 hour race, but you can simulate. You can have like a full-blown 24-hour race experience within like 10 laps. So here we are around Spa. That guy's going to hit me. The Mercedes spins, and then I go for a nice trip. So I go from third place, and I just spam the button as I furiously try to reset my car and watch the entire field just pass me. So here we are, 22 hours left of the race, and I get past this McLaren, and I'm in 30th. 30th place p30 right so i have a lot of progression to go through and here you are um it's only been a single lap but i mean three hours of progression has happened and you can see it's starting to get dark the sun is starting to go down and we are going to be entering the nighttime very soon here we are 20 hours left into the race and i'm just going to nail the barrier here so two big big mistakes uh, really setting me back here, and I just wanted to there's no action really happening here I'm Just trying to catch up, but look at this Going into the dark and you can just see that the Sun is fading away in the distance and Nighttime is consuming spa and It's just it's just a unique experience and here we are uh, at 16 and a half hours later or at 16 and a half hours left in the race and just how dark it is putting the moves on the Bentley that's on my left hand side uh, trying to catch up to the other Bentley ahead that guy's gonna put the moves on me a uh, little little twitchy here on on the old controller here on Project Cars 2 I don't know what's going on here usually I'm not so uh, twitchy in this game on the controller but uh, I was having some issues there and without a doubt so for whatever reason there's some traffic built up uh, just under uh, 15 hours left to go in the race uh, middle of the night and uh, putting the moves on, I'm up into looks like 29th place. Got the Cadillac in front of me and another Mercedes Benz AMG or Mercedes AMG. I'm gonna put the moves on a nice dive, get two positions there up right behind the Lamborghini. Miss a shift, kind of slow down just a little bit, but yeah, putting the moves on it, kind of climbing up the ranks here, trying to keep the errors down to a minimum as we go through Eau Rouge in the middle of the night. Let off the gas just a little bit. Traction changes just a hair. Going wide there, twitching, messing up, letting off the gas, trying not to completely spin out here. And, uh, yeah, having, having a good old time. Twelve and a half hours left of the race. Going through this really fun and fast left-handed section as we're closing up this lap. And you can see the sun is starting to come up. The black sky is turning all shades of blue. And it's just a beautiful moment when you've been racing in the dark for... I mean, I guess it's only literally been like six, eight minutes. And uh, yeah, this it's simulation. Just the sun's coming up. It's just really cool. And here we are. I got ten and a half hours left of this race. Or ten and a half minutes, you know. And... All shades of blue, pinks, purples, you got the white right there in the middle. It just looks really freaking cool. You get the whole experience and you don't have to spend 24 hours behind your wheel or your controller. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing this more often. It's actually really cool. You can have a 30 minute race and you get the whole night day experience. So, uh, I'm going to be hosting some multiplayer lobby soon so we can all race together and do this together and I'll make videos of it so if you want to join me let me know I'm probably gonna start doing this on Sunday mornings uh, probably this Sunday morning so nine hours left of the race into the back of the Lambo here and uh, yeah so nine hours you know for fun but nine minutes left of this race and I have a lot of positions to make up and I'm catching up to a big chunk of field uh, big chunk of cars that are all running a train 
nose to tail, so I'm going to try to get the best of him in the Lambo. I just kind of bump him off. Big oops there. I didn't mean to do that. I, even though it's AI, I try to race clean anyways because nobody likes to watch a guy who's just smashing into shit. Trust me, I know. And so I'm going to go try to get around this Acura NSX and then I just kind of pop into him. Big oops there. So now I'm up into 24th place. Cadillac just in front of me letting off the gas. Trying to get this uh, turn nailed perfectly. Eight hours left into this race is going to happen. I bumped him on accident. Didn't mean to do that. Try Just trying to get side by side. Even he looks twitchy. I don't know if, what the hell was going on. But, like, my car was really twitchy. Some of the AI were kind of all over the place. McLaren over here on the inside. Going to try to do a cutback. Just barely tapping him. Go side by side here. Get up on the curb a little too much. Getting uh, slowed down just a little bit. And that car is going to maintain its position. Seven hours left into the race. And I'm going to just gun it. Go for a nice lunge. He turns in, tries to block me, and I'm able to get around him. So I'm up into second place, or 22nd place, sorry, with seven minutes or seven hours, quote unquote, left in the race. Putting the moves on this guy. This just seems to be the good spot where I can just sneak in and get a couple positions. Four and a half hours left in this race. It looks like we have a BMW just in front. That may be a Bentley. I am kind of tired and blind. Here we are. Boom! Two and a half hours left of the race. That car just goes sent, just just spun itself out into the wall. Uh, maybe somebody, another AI car pushed it, I don't know, but it was just kind of neat coming around the corner and seeing that the AI are causing problems and having wrecks of their own, so it's not like the race is just determined on my own actions, so that was pretty neat. And uh, yeah, I thought the race was going to be finished here, but... The guy in first place uh, already passed the start-finish line before the time ended, so I have one more lap to gain positions. I'm going to go for the move here on the Audi, and then tuck in behind the other Audi here. And then I'm going to try my damnedest to put in a really solid lap and uh, gain some more positions because the first couple of laps were awful. And so I'm still trying to fight through the, the field and maintain some sort of decent position. I mean, even if I would have finished in 30th, you know, I was just trying to do it for the experience of the environment and everything, so it was pretty neat. And then still trying to actually race and compete and be... It was just a lot of fun. This was one of those races where I was like, wow, I need more of this. <laughs> so I do want to host some lobbies and we can do this stuff together. Got the GTR just in front of me. Got to come out of that turn incredibly slow and get around him easily. So I'm up into 15th, and that's pretty much going to be it because I am in the front of this little chain here, and that'll be it. That, are, that is your 24-hour race in under 30 minutes here around Spa in the Porsche 911 RSR. Join me. I'm going to start doing the Sunday mornings on Project Cars 2. I'm on Xbox. I don't know if this is like cross-platform or, or anything. But, yep, going to start doing these 24-hour races in 30 minutes. Uh, let me know if you've done this before. I just found this out. I think it's awesome. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.